Hello everybody and welcome back to 3am. If you're new here, I make creepy content, so I invite you to go and check out any of my other videos on the channel, and if you like them, feel free to drop me a subscription. So as you would have seen by the title of the video, today we are going to be taking a look at a true sinister reddit story called The Whistler. After some research I found this one a few days ago and I had to make a video about it just because of the pure creepiness of the whole story and context of it. We also have video footage in today's video to add to the even more ominous effect. So I hope you enjoy this one as much as I did when I first found it. Sit back, relax and enjoy. I've been waiting a long time to tell Reddit the full story of The Whistler. This story requires many details but it is unexplainable, creepy and true. I also have video evidence. When I was about 8 years old, I was taking my dog for a walk through the neighbourhood with my mum. It was maybe 11pm. We lived next to a swamp slash woods area on the edge of our neighbourhood in Lansing, Michigan. I remember it being very silent and slightly windy. From down the swamp we heard somebody whistling at us. It sounded sort of like a bird, but each whistle was different enough where the lack of consistency made it human-like. The whistle sounded higher than lower. I can't really describe it. My mum had a concerned, slightly terrified look on her face and grabbed my hand and said we should go inside quickly. I didn't understand because I was too young, but seeing my mum freak out made me freak out too. After a while though, I kind of forgot about it. Two years later, I was taking my dog out again, late at night. There was a large bush that I could easily obscure a person behind it, just next to the front door. As I was finishing the walk, the whistling noise started again. Same pictures, same inconsistent human-like tones. As soon as I heard it, a chill went down my spine, as I remembered exactly the feeling of seeing my mum terrified looking down into the swamp at something I couldn't see. Maybe she couldn't either. I ran inside as fast as possible. Years went by, and I thought about it less and less. I told only a handful of people, and eventually it slipped from my mind. Fast forward to last summer. I'm 24, started dating my girl Sarah. We moved out to South Dakota for work. For Independence Day, we decided to go to Pierre, SD, and watch the fireworks along the bank of the Missouri River. There was a free camping spot behind a hospital where you could pitch your tent, hang out, and see the fireworks up the river. We were near the end of the campground, and there were very few people around us. As it was getting dark, the fireworks began. They were pretty far away, so the illumination they brought was little. Thus, we had to sit right at the edge of the river and be able to see them. A huge thunderhead was moving in, and a storm was imminent so the air seemed electric and the wind was picking up. The atmosphere was eerie to say the least. The police boats herded all of the other boats off the river and had left our area to do that elsewhere. Most of the other campers walked up the river to have a better view of the fireworks, but Sarah and I stayed back and were drinking PBR, tall boys and kicking it. Suddenly we heard the sound of a paddle methodically dipping into the water. We saw a figure steering a canoe about 20 metres offshore. Sarah decided to go get more beers from the car, leaving me alone to stare at this mystery person. And then, of course, they whistled at me. My entire body was frozen and covered in goosebumps. It was the exact same whistler from my childhood. More than a decade earlier, I looked at the figure, but it was much too dark to discern who it could be. They were wearing a hat when they were perpendicular to the shore from me. They stopped paddling, turned the canoe to face directly at me, and whistled right at me. I was so frightened, I stood up and shouted at them, Who are you? They didn't say anything, just whistled a couple more times, turned the canoe 180 degrees and paddled out of sight. I'm a videographer, so I already had my camera by my side and was taking video of the fireworks. As the canoe was almost out of sight, I grabbed my camera and got a shot of them whistling as they went away. When Sarah came back from getting beers, she was very confused as to why I was so freaked out. When I explained, she was freaked out a bit too. I was convinced we'd both be murdered that night. How did this whistling person follow me after 14 years, all the way to South Dakota? Was it a coincidence? Why was it all the same whistling noise? Who was that person? Where did they go? So many questions still unanswered. To this day, I'm more afraid of being outside in the dark where I might hear that whistling again. I'm open to any explanations. If there is any interest, I'll find a plug and edit a little video of the fireworks and the whistling noise and the canoe disappearing. I'm in Uganda currently and the internet is spotty where I am, so I'll do my best. TLDR, whistling person has haunted me since I was a boy. Can't explain, help. Edit. Video is coming, I promise. Where I'm at in Uganda, the power goes out sometimes, so if you don't hear from me, either that happened or the whistler finally got me. Edit 2. Okay, finally. I spent all afternoon uploading this video. Here's the link. So I'm going to show you the full video that was linked to that subreddit, and just to warn you, it's quite chilling. I found it chilling anyway, so I hope it had the same effect on you guys.
You whistling? Is that you? Stop it. So at this point, after the video was shown, the subreddit then goes on to say, when I was still getting shots of the fireworks, I heard the whistling starting. I was too afraid at that moment to point the camera directly at the canoe, so I just turned my microphone towards it and kept a low key shot facing down river towards the fireworks. If you wear headphones, you can hear it better. It's the two note whistle, high than low. You can hear me ask my girlfriend, are you whistling? Is that you? She said no, but I wasn't sure, so I told her to stop it because I was getting scared. The last shot, I boosted the brightness as much as I could and still make out the person in the canoe. It looks like they're wearing a red sweater or something. Edit. It's been a while and I apologise for that. I'm back in the US now and asked my mum about it. I sat her down and played the video for her. She honestly doesn't remember anything like that happening. I wish I had something more exciting to say. Alas, it must remain a mystery. Now I don't know about you guys, but I definitely found that video dark and eerie. From the two pitch whistling, to the sounds of the river and the fireworks in the background, with the added night theme, it all just makes for a very eerie video. Now my only concerns with the legitimacy of this video is the fact that the whistling sounds so close to the camera microphone, to the point where it sounds like someone's directly behind the person filming the video, which makes me believe this could be set up in one way. However, if it's not, just if it isn't, and this it really is a legit scenario that is absolutely terrifying thank you to everyone who's tuned in and made it this far into the video i do appreciate every one of your support like i always do say this has been 3am i hope you enjoyed another sinister reddit story if you want to see more of these comment down below let me know also please comment down below if you're enjoying the diverse range of content like the top 10 clips the reddit stories and the tiktok accounts let me know what you enjoy seeing guys i'll then create more content focused on what you guys enjoy the most lastly this has been 3am i hope you've enjoyed this sinister reddit story take care have a good day and stay safe